Hi everybody, I'm David and this is Wine Forecaster. I think it's been about a year, maybe a little longer, since I reviewed the Marie Defoe Baz Armagnac. And this was a um, Armagnac that was recommended to me by a salesperson at Premier Wines out in Buffalo. And I was there again, and this time they recommended that I try Delord's 25-year-old Armagnac. And this Armagnac just takes Armagnac to a another level. You know, I, I got turned on to this stuff. I started actually with Cognac because I was watching the Cognac Maniac on YouTube. I really enjoyed his channel and I know a lot of all his videos are pretty much gone. He did a he did a video that still remains. You can see it on YouTube and on Vimeo where he went to um, different Cognac um, houses including Delamain and it's really really a great video. I, I highly recommend that you if you can find it watch it. Um, but I, I got turned on to Delamine. I like a lot of Delamine cognacs. Um, but, you know, cognac, especially XO, it can be really, really pricey. And uh, so Armagnac, the price points for XO um, is considerably less. I mean, this is like $80. And the Marie Defoe is like $50. And they're really, really, uh, really tasty. Very, very good. Very reminiscent of cognac, except cognac is... A little bit finer because it is double distilled, whereas Armagnac is usually single distilled. So um, Armagnac. So oh, this is Bernie, Bernie the bear. Uh, my wife and I we were doing some hiking this spring and ran into a bear on our trail, and a uh, black bear. And so afterwards we wanted to bring a bear home. So anyhow, Armagnac uh, uses primarily uh, four grapes: Uni Blanc, which is the grape that is used to make cognac, uh, Faux Blanche, which is the grape that used to be used to make cognac, and then Baco Blanc and Columbard. That was the other one. The Armagnac region. When you see Baz Armagnac here, that is actually one of three appellations that Armagnac is uh, made from. And actually there is a new, a fourth appellation where they are now making a clear Armagnac, one that is not aged at all in oak. So let's give this a nose. The nice thing, Armagnac, it, it, it's, it's bolder than cognac. If you've ever had uh, fresh eggs, you know, right out of the chicken coop, and compare those to eggs that you get at the store, a fresh egg, it's, it's, it's meatier, it has, a, it has a bigger taste. And that's kind of how Armagnac is versus cognac. Cognac is much finer and much more delicate, and you still get the delicateness with Armagnac, but it, it has a lot more, just it's bigger and bolder. So this has noses, uh, this has a nose of vanilla and a little bit of butterscotch. I get a hickory nut kind of just out of the shuck. If you've ever shucked hickory nuts, that's what it smells like. In fact, it smells more like the shuck than it actually does the nut. Maybe even like a wet, a wet decaying leaf, brown leaf. There's raisins, dates, got a lot of complexity to it. Of course, there's the 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 no the aroma of the oak. This, this has some heat to it. Um, this one's 40% alcohol strength. Um, some Armagnacs can be a little bit stronger than that. This one's 40%. <clears throat> this superb blend displays flavors of cocoa, sp spices, definitely spices. Uh, vanilla, raisins, walnut, and cinnamon. Yes, the fi finish is long, silky, and biscuity. It is definitely long. It is definitely spicy. It definitely has pepper in it. You know, on a cold winter night, and this is going to warm me up really, really easy. It seems like the nights are getting a little bit longer now, which is why I decided to make this video. I was having a, uh, 
a fire outside with the with the dogs just kind of hanging out. The wife's out of town, and I, and I thought, gee, you know, it's a, it's a good time to review this this Delord Armagnac for you. I would highly recommend if you can get yourself a bottle of these. I'm sorry, of this. It's it's like seventy five, eighty dollars right now, and it's I would highly recommend it. Um, the the Marie Defoe, again, very good. I this is probably my third bottle of this, um, but I am definitely in the market for getting another couple bottles of this because I want to keep this in my cellar. And I also am going to start expanding my palette on different Armagnacs. So hopefully I can bring some more of these reviews to you. Thanks for watching this video. I'm David, this is Bernie, and Lee and I look forward to seeing you on our next wine forecaster video.